everyone coming out to Robeson Stadium at East Orange on Saturday. Looking forward to see if the East Orange Jaguars could rebound from a tough loss to West Orange the week before. Meanwhile, the juggernaut of Seton Hall Prep, that offensive machine led by Kevin Monongai, coming in at a perfect 7-0. The Pirates looking to solidify their spot in non-public Group 4, while the Jaguars in North 2 Group 4 in the publics, both playoff bound, but certainly teams that want to win for the SEC American title on the line outright or for a tie. And also East Orange looking to rebound, and we'd see if they would. Let's head out to Robeson Stadium. Two powerhouse teams from the SEC American getting set to meet in a huge late regular season contest. The Jaguars get their offense going. Lorada on the move. That's the quarterback, Justin Lorada, getting forward for some running room. Speedy running back Chris Rowling, he'll get the handoff. Rowling, 25-yard touchdown run. The senior running back with 419 left in the first. It's 7-0 Jags with a Rowling run. Seton Hall quarterback Sean McGuire. He'll find the big target, 6 for 4 250-pound Connor Wojak, the Boston College-bound wing back. Into the East Orange red zone from there. That'll Charlie Kennedy, 4 yards off the right side in the end zone. 10-22 left, second quarter. We are tied at 7. And here's the ever-present Kevin Menangai. Always ready to break free at a moment's notice. Number 25, 43 yards for the touchdown. Menangai, 14-7 Pirates. Here comes SHP. Watch out for East Orange quarterback Justin Morata. Bouncing back from the sore ribs the week prior against West Orange. Bobby Gibson, the receiver, manages to break away from the Pirates secondary. He will almost reach the end zone. Look at this. Almost looks like he got in. But the official says his knee hit at the one. From there, though, LaRota will cap it with a touchdown run. We are tied at 14-14, midway through the second quarter. Seton Prep will show more Manungai as a standout halfback, as another long gainer in the Jaguar territory. Continuing to rack up the yardage is the senior running back. McGuire then makes a quick strike in the right flat. And Kevin Ajoma, Ajoma down to the one. From there, Manungai, he'll finish the drive with a touchdown run. Pirates. 21-14 with 7.32, still showing in the third. Larada demonstrating his ability to time a pattern. Look at this beautiful lofted pass over the Pirate defense to the receiver who gets into Pirate territory. Under pressure now, Larada is able to get off a pass, and somehow the ball finds its way between two defenders into the arms of Bobby Gibson. 38-yard touchdown pass play. The extra point failed. 21-20 Pirates, 7.50 left in the fourth. The Jaguars, however, take the lead. Elaine Johnson making up for the missed PAT. 38-yard field goal, lots of leg and accuracy. 23-21 East Orange. Now with just 2.52 remaining, we're talking about responding. Take a look at this. McGuire in play action, finds a streaky Manon guy. Here he goes, number 25, gets in the clear. He'll take it all the way to the house. 73 yards, Seton Hall prep as the lead back. 28-23. Lorada, where he'll look to rally East Orange. But the Seton Hall defense, it's always there to show its might. It'll snuff out a screen right. Here comes the Pirates, the unit of resistance. Then Lorada is sacked by the Pirates defensive end, Connor Lumby, as he comes and makes the big play from the corner. Seton Hall prep gets the ball back one more time. Manangai puts an exclamation point. 29-yard touchdown run, his third TD rushing of the day, his fourth overall, 35-23 Pirates. They improved to 8-0, East Orange 6-2. What a great effort by East Orange campus, even in defeat. Marion Bell's team bouncing back so well from the loss to West Orange the week before. They had the lead in the final two and change, but Seton Hall prep with the irrepressible Kevin Manon guy coming through at the end. The Pirates, they look like a number two seed in non-public group four. East Orange, we'll have to wait and see. A lot of big games in North 2 group four this weekend in terms of regular season week action. And we'll see where the Jaguars end up, but they look like they're headed to North 2 Group 4. Always log on for the best in high school football at NJ Hotshots and Sideline Chatter.